My director is telling me Carson is speaking live right now in South Beach, Florida. He's talking to reporters, so let's listen in here. Well, Dr. Yes, Carson, that's not the same, though, Dr. Carson, as being actually offered a scholarship. Having someone say, we can get you in with a scholarship doesn't mean you've actually been given a scholarship. Well, it, it was an offer to me. It was specifically... Did you interpret it as an offer, or was it I interpreted it as an offer? I interpreted it as an offer. Who gave you the offer? I made it very offer? clear. Who was my, it? I don't the remember answer. the names. I don't remember the names of the people. Uh, it's almost 50 years ago. I bet you don't remember all the people you talked to 50 years ago. But anyway, um, you know, they told me this was available to me because of my accomplishments, and that they would be delighted for me to do it. And I told them immediately that my intention was to become a physician. It always has been. And I was very honored, but I would not be pursuing that. I also made it very clear in my book that I only applied to one college. I only had enough money to apply to one college. Do and you I decided to apply to the college that won the grand championship in college, Bill. And that year, the grand championship was between Harvard and Yale. Do you you can go back, I'm sure, and find the records and see that it was, in fact, between Harvard and Yale. And that Yale demolished Harvard. So, I mean, probably anybody who's associated with Harvard wouldn't want you to find those records, but it's there. Dr. Carson, one of your opponents has already said this is the beginning of the end. What, how do you think this will affect you in the polls, if it will at all? Well, you said the key word there, opponent. What do you expect them to say? <laughs> Dr. Carson, your campaign manager intimated that we would get some more e details potentially as early as this weekend about your childhood friends that you were involved in violence with potentially revealing Bob or Jerry. Can you expand on this? Are we going to get their identity? Well, if, if you want to find their identity, let me, ex let me tell you where you probably should go. You should go to the incident where it happened, to the place where it happened. Wilson Junior High School in Detroit is where the lock incident occurred. Mm -hmm. And maybe they still have the records. It, okay. was, it was, you know, 51, 52 years ago. And the ago, other incidents? But maybe they still have them. And the other incidents, too? Which other incident? Um, with uh, your mother, all of these, the other, <coughs> the Bob and Jerry, which one's the well, lock? You know, we haven't really aligned both names up with each. Well, the incident with my uh, mother, she, I, and my brother were the only people who were there. Will someone, some will someone tell me, Can please, you tell me why? why you have not investigated that? I want to know. Why are you raising it? Why? Because I want to know. You should want to know, too. The president of you, wait a minute, hold on one minute. One second here. Now you're saying that something that happened with the words a scholarship was offered is a big deal, but the president of the United States, his academic records being sealed is not. Well, you tell mean, me, wait a minute, tell me how they're running. Tell me how there's equivalency there. It doesn't matter where it is. Tell me how, that is a silly argument. Tell, tell me how there's equivalence there. Tell me how there is equivalence there. Tell me somebody, please. I never said I received the full scholarship. I never, wait a minute, don't, don't lie. I never said that I received the full scholarship. Okay. Nowhere did I say that. There have been reports today is what I'm trying to Politico, say. Politico, as you know, told a bold-faced lie. They've been called out on that by the Washington Post and by the New York Times, and I'm sure there'll be several others who will call them out on that, because there are actually some people with integrity in your business. What I'm trying to get you at is you just said, said you just, just told me honesty. that you got a scholarship offer. You just said that. No, she said that I got a scholarship. I never said I got a scholarship. So no, I had people. I had people who said yes that I could get a scholarship to West Point, and I told them that I wasn't interested, that I was going to pursue medicine. All right, we're dipping out there. Republican presidential contender Dr. Ben Carson speaking with reporters in South Beach, Florida. This after some of his recent allegations were called into question. There were allegations that he had claimed he'd been offered a scholarship at West Point, even though he never applied to the military academy. So one reporter said, well, just because someone's saying we can get you in with a scholarship doesn't mean you've actually been offered a scholarship. Carson responded to that, though, saying he interpreted it as an offer adding he never said he actually received a full scholarship, but saying, yes, they did tell him it was available to him because of his accomplishments and they'd be delighted to have him. And that he said he was honored, but his intention was always to be a doctor. As for the claims of violence with his childhood friends, he stands behind those. He says if you want to fact check them and find their identities, he told the reporter who asked, then you should go to the place where it happened, his high school in Detroit, saying maybe they still have a record of it. He finished tonight saying with intensity that he doesn't remember this 
level of scrutiny against President Obama, adding he's not going to sit back and be unfair about what is going on and that the American people are not going to play that game.